So I'm Chris Print. I'm a professor of molecular medicine and pathology at Auckland Medical School. And I'm someone who uses genomics and bioinformatics a great deal. Genomics, of course, is the study of genes and genomes. Bioinformatics is all the computational and mathematical processing we need to do to turn data about genes and genomes into something that's real and useful. Genomics has made a massive difference to our scientific understanding of the environment. It's generated a large primary industry change in how we can better grow and produce. And mostly, to me, genomics has made a big change in healthcare. There's several ways genomics can be used to help patients. One of the first ways genomics was used is actually looking at the expression of different genes how many genes are used and how much they're used in a variety of different cancers, which can tell you a lot about the biology of an individual patient's cancer, what molecular pathways are being used and so on. This can not only tell you about how long a tumour may take to develop and the prognosis for a patient, but it can also tell you a lot about potentially what type of cancer it is. Any one cancer may have hundreds of different types which may be susceptible or resistant to different types of therapy and genomics can help with this. The next generation of genomics though which became really exciting is looking at the sequence of genes not just how much they're expressed and that's what's really transformed medicine today and hopefully is going to increasingly transform medicine in the future. In terms of doing DNA sequencing we now have small portable DNA sequences that can diagnose different microbiological agents that are causing infections or can, in our case, be taken out to schools, used to sequence the water in streams and to educate school children about their, their future using technologies like genomics. We think that the medical students that are going through medical school today are going to be using genomics more in their practice. This needs to be evidence-based and very solid. But the speed with which the technologies are developing means that genomics is going to be a really useful tool among their other tools and their clinical acumen.